Now in John chapter 7, in uh, verse 37, John 7, 37, now Jesus Christ said, <clears throat> in verse 37, in the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, he let him come unto me, and what? And drink, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly, out of his innermost being, shall flow, what? Rivers of living water. Meron bang pagkakaiba po sa balon tsaka rivers? Meron pong pagkakaiba. Amen? Even in the natural. Okay? Okay? Yung pong rivers tsaka yung pong balon, may pagkakaiba po yan. Yung pong well ay para po sa atin po, para sa ating personal uh, uh, consumption. But the rivers, I tell you, mas maraming po mga tao ang pwede makinabang po sa tubig mula po sa mga ilog. Not just river, rivers. Amen? And then, uh, uh, ano itong river, rivers na tinutukoy din ni Jesus Christ? In verse 39, But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive, for the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because uh, that Jesus was not yet glorified. At that time, Jesus Christ was not yet glorified. In other words, he was not yet risen from the dead. And, 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 and the Holy Spirit only can be given after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But thank God Jesus Christ was already glorified. Thank God Jesus Christ already rose from the dead. That's why after Jesus Christ rose from the dead, after he was glorified on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2, the Holy Spirit was given. And the Holy Spirit has been here on earth since Acts chapter 2. Amen? Praise God, the, the day of the Pentecost. Now anyway, okay, so here, uh, yung pong rivers, ito po ay... Uh, ay uh, naglalarawan naman po sa infilling of the Holy Spirit. And at that the time, wala ba pong uh, modern uh, technology, modern engineering that we have today. But, but Jesus Christ said, you shall, uh, Jesus Christ said in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, and he would be referring to the rivers of living water. He said, if any man thirsts, he may come unto me and drink, and out of his very innermost being shall flow what? Rivers of living water. And he was referring to the Holy Spirit. Okay? In spite of the fact that uh, wala pa pong uh, modern science, modern uh, uh, engineering or technology at the time, but, but, but you know, uh, Jesus Christ, you know, uh, alam na po niya na even in the natural, rivers can be a source of tremendous power. Amen? Rivers can be a source of tremendous power. Glory to God. Okay? Na nakakita na ba kayo na compared to well? Na nakakita na ba kayo ng mga ng hydroelectric plant na nag-generate po ng electricity, ng electrical power? Nakakita na ba kayo ng hydroelectric plant na pwedeng mag-generate po ng electrical power doon po sa tabi ng balon? Ah, may balon dito. Mag pwede tayo magtayo ng hydroelectric plant. No. Amen? Pero yung pong rivers, you can tap the waters uh, coming from the river or rivers and, and, and you can... You, you can generate, you know, tremendous uh, amount of electrical energy or electrical power. I know that. Okay? Now, uh, yung pong, uh, yung madalas ko pong bagipitin ko, yung pong Angat Dam sa Bulacan, actually, hindi lamang po ito isang river lang. Okay? Now, uh, uh, ito po ay, yung the major river will be the Angat River. And they, they tap the water doon po sa Angat River, na bago po yung tubig, bago po pumunta doon sa irrigation ng Central Luzon, at bago pumunta doon sa water supply ng Metro Manila, MWSS, ay pinadadaan muna nila sa mga water turbines na nakabit po sa mga electrical generator. Okay? At, uh, at, at that time, way back in, in the early 80s, you know, uh, if I remember it right, yung pong, uh, yung pong capacity po ng planta noon ay 650 megawatts of electrical energy, electrical power. So in other words, that, that, that river, the water, the, the, the water coming from the river is able to generate that tremendous amount of power. Imagine 650 million watts of electrical energy. Okay, pero ngayon, I've heard na hindi lamang po yung Angat River, they were able to tap the other rivers, although smaller rivers, okay, in the Sierra Madre Mountains, they were able to tap into that, yung pong Kaliwa River, Kanan River, Umiray River, you know, nakuha na po nila yung tubig doon, at uh, na-channel na po nila doon sa Angat Dam. Kaya mas malaki na po yung capacity na Angat Dam ngayon. You know, not only for water supply, but for generating tremendous amount of electrical power. Now, Jesus Christ knew about it. Amen. When He said, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Amen. So in other words, you know, uh, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit is for life. For us to receive eternal life. 
But you know what? The rivers of living water, the infilling of the Holy Spirit is for us to receive power so that we can affect the lives of other people. Amen? So yan, Diyos po hindi lamang siya interesado na tayo po tumanggap po ng eternal life. Okay? And, 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 and tayo po, uh, patapos tayo tumanggap ng eternal life, ng kalitasan tayo po pupunta na sa langit. No, hindi lamang po yun ang ninanais ng Diyos sa ating buhay. God knows. God knows that after you got born again, you will be staying here on earth for quite a long time. Amen? Alam po ng Panginoon, I got born again 1981. Alam po ng Panginoon, matapos ako ma-born again, ako'y mananatili pa sa mundong ito sa mahabang panahon until the rapture of the church. Amen? For many, many, many years. Glory to God. At alam po ng Panginoon, for, for those, uh, you know, long period of time that I will still be here on earth, I needed the power of the Holy Spirit. Yan po si Yeso Cristo, kinakailangan po ng kapangyarihan ng Baral na Espiritu then how much more we need the power of the Holy Spirit. I said, how much more we need the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank God you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me. Amen? Praise God forevermore. Now, before we go to the uh, uh, initial evidence of being filled with the Holy Spirit, as I said last Sunday, the initial evidence would be speaking in other tongues. But before we go to that, now tingnan po natin isang pattern all throughout the Bible. Okay? Now once a, a person or a, a group of believers, once they are filled with the Holy Spirit, you know, the next thing that would happen to them would be, for, to them, to them would be, you know, they would open their mouths, bubuksan ko lang bibig, and they will begin to speak, or not only in other times, but they will begin to speak words. Amen? Praise God forevermore. Now, <clears throat> Uh, this is a pattern all throughout the Bible. Natingnan po natin muna, doon po sa Luke chapter 1, verse 15. Now, there was the evidence of a spirit-filled life. What is the evidence of a spirit-filled life? Now, in Luke, <clears throat> Luke chapter 1, in verse 15. Luke chapter 1, verse 15. Gospel of Luke chapter 1, verse 15. Now, this is talking about John the Baptist. In Luke chapter 1, verse 15, it says here, And he, John the Baptist, shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be what? Filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb. He shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb. Now, go with me this time in, uh, just drop down to verse 41. Verse 41. <clears throat> now, Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, she was pregnant with John the Baptist. John the Baptist was already six months old in uh, his uh, mother's womb. When Mary, the mother of Jesus, came to visit, you know, Elizabeth. And Mary was pregnant with Jesus. Okay? Now, dalawang buntis po ang nagkatagpo. Amen? Si Elizabeth naman po, ang pinagbubuntis po niya ay si John the Baptist, six months. At si Mary naman po, ang pinagbubuntis po niya ay si Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus Christ was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Okay? Inside Mary's womb. But anyway, it says here, praise the Lord, in, in verse uh, uh, in verse 41, 39. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country where, with haste into a city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted or greeted uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth was a relative of Mary, cousin of Mary. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary or the greetings of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. The babe leaped in her womb. The babe that was John the Baptist inside the womb of Elizabeth leaped in her womb. Naglulokso doon sa loob po ng uh, sinapupunan po ni Elizabeth. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. The moment that uh, John the Baptist leaped inside the womb of her, his mother Elizabeth, the mother was filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen? So John the Baptist was filled with the Holy Spirit inside the womb of Elizabeth, but the moment he leaped, you know, then he was filled, she was rather, uh, uh, Elizabeth, the mother, also was filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay, now what happened? Now the moment Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost, verse 42, and she won. And she spake out with a loud voice. The first thing that she did after he, she got filled with the Holy Spirit, she opened his mouth, her mouth and she spoke the word. Amen? So she was filled and then she spoke. She spake with a loud voice. 